What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Elvis Tools 5 Skyrim here on RWG. Uh, today, we are going to be heading over to um, Salt Slim. Or, no, sorry. We're going to be going to get the uh, Horn of Jurgen Windcaller over in uh, just north of. We're going to be going over to Ustgrev. Ustengriv, uh, just uh, outside of Morthal. Uh, and this is going to be a walk. We're going to have to walk this whole way um, because we cannot get a ride uh, because we're going to be experiencing a dragon and some other things. So we're going to go ahead and hop and get our bow out um, because this is going to be a, a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and head over. Um, we've got the giants and over there is the giants. Um, and um, uh, the uh, with the tusks and stuff, the mammoths uh, that you'll get for one of the side quests. But we are going. Uh, we're going to be going by a um, old uh, ruined area. Uh, like I said before, this is going to be the home to some outsiders that will want to take us down. Uh, we're going to experience a dragon. So there's a lot going on in this this spot. So already uh, we've got... Oh, oh, it's one of the stupid crabs. Okay. So yeah. So this is our first spot we're going to hit. Is right here. So we're going to go ahead and get low. Um, stay hidden. Um, because we're going to be getting the dragon coming up soon. So we want to get down to these rocks and then we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy we're gonna go here go a little bit above him right about there oh we hit him maybe or we went up beside him shoot okay Lydia why did you do that okay they partially see us. Okay, we're hidden again. Move! Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I think I went over him. Or I came short. Yep, there he is. Okay, so we're... You go a little bit above him. Now he's coming. It's starting to get cold again. There we go, hit. Let's get this one over here. I'm on. Go backwards. Good. Right there. And dead. Okay. So we got those. Um, so now we're going to kind of sneak up. But uh, like I said, there's going to be uh, soon. Uh, typically about right about now um, a dragon is going to show up So we can level up um, and then just to quickly level up. Actually, there's a place to sleep up here. We can go ahead and sneak in. Um, it looks like the dragon's not hitting right now. Um, typically, the dragon will come out. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, so the dragon just landed behind me. Okay. Yeah. There's the dragon tail. So some somehow the dragon's already been attacked a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this dragon off. So something's been attacking this dragon already. Oh, wrong magic shoot. I saw the old shout in. Ah! 
hide. They will try and kill you. There it is. <laughs> okay, let's uh, quickly go to our potions. Let's throw that up real quick. Okay, so dragon's dead. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the dragon soul. Uh, we can go ahead and search it while we're waiting. Um, don't, like I said, don't take those. They're not worth anything. All right, so the dragon's gonna heat up. And I'm gonna absorb the soul of the dragon. Okay, so now I have one dragon soul to spend. Now we gotta take down these things. Before they kill her. person but there we go okay nice that's a two which means I can actually use it okay now there should be there's some food over here which is nice Apparently we took the plate, which we don't need the plate. But we gotta sleep. So there's typically a place to sleep here. Let's go ahead and eat. Okay. So. Get by the fire, heat up. Okay, we got the chest. Okay, and then we have a little, get our armor up. We can work on the grindstone, um, but we need a place to take a quick nap which should be, where is that? Yep, in here. Okay, so we're gonna go inside the camp. So we're going to go ahead and sleep. Can't uh, sleep when there are enemies by. So let's see if we can take a quick nap. Right, we're gonna go, like I said, one, uh, so we can quickly get uh, this up. Uh, we're gonna go to. Uh, we can't do anything on archery just yet. Um. We're gonna go ahead and do heavy armor. Okay. Let's go ahead and go down here. Okay, so like I said, if we got that tomb um, which is going to be right here. Uh, basically allows us to improve our armor for 40 points. So now we've learned it so we can use it. And 
she took care of him. Move. Move. This one's actually a little harder to adapt, but we're getting close. Oh, close. Okay. So we're going to go right about there. A little bit there. Okay. A little over a little more. Nope. Almost. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're almost level six. Nice. And that's the... I don't know what that activated, but maybe open the door. But we got some actual nice stuff here. get rid of a couple things while the moons are out burn to target for 10 points nice all right, we're dropping all that oh. because we can't carry it what, what were you owing about let's see what else we have here some more gold Okay, and back out. Okay. Which allows us to get into a another chest. Uh, and then we go here. Okay, so this was the side of the building. And then there's another little campsite here, another little outpost here, inside here which gives you some wine, bucket, and stuff like that. We're not gonna need, okay. So now we're gonna make our way this way. Then we're gonna be heading to Morthal and uh, Ulthred. Or Uthre, or however you pronounce it. All right, so one thing I suggest you guys do is do your quick saves um, because it's gonna allow you to quickly jump through uh, and save um, when you need to. I would quick save when you get close to where you're going so that way if something happens like you get to your destination and there is some orcs or there's some bandits or something there and obviously if they kill you you're yeah. and that's what I don't like things like this this thing is tough flame and arcs are really bad uh, they do blow up on you if you're not careful So, don't go near it, because it'll do that. Okay. Usually, if you find a flame mini arc, you've got a witch close by. All right. So, we're going to be going through here really, really quick. Um, because this is a cut-through pass for us. Um, to get to our other side. Now, when you, the way you know you're getting close to your destination is up on your uh, little radar up top, it gets bigger. That's how you know you're close to your destination. Um, this is a little uh, thing here to get uh, other blessings. We're gonna skip it, and then now we're gonna go ahead and just go down. So, uh, we're going this direction here. It's getting chilly, we need to hurry. And we're just gonna go right down the side of the mountain to where we're going. Like I said, we're just gonna do quick pass through everywhere. We're not going to go our normal destination. There they are. Go! Okay, she got him. Let's keep going. Try and get out of the cold as quick as possible. One thing I suggest you get is a torch. So when you are in the cold, 
you have uh, some heat with you. All right, so we're going to be going downhill now. Another wolf. Uh, we do need to get a soul gem soon uh, because we're going to be uh, running out on this weapon uh, on our, our usage on it. Remember, careful how you go down and you don't slide down because when you slide down a spot, you will die. She is not with me um, because she doesn't do what we're doing. She'll catch up to us when we get to where we're going. <gasps> yep, see, that was bad. So we're going to go ahead and heal ourselves. That was a big jump, and it killed us. Almost killed us, actually. Okay. You gotta be very careful about those falls. They will hurt. That's a little minor camp. Gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon yep. has attacked White Rock. How could mere men bring down such a beast? So a little, little camp, uh, a little minor camp, but we're going straight through, guys. All this, um, when we're getting close. Now, like I said, when the way you know you're getting really close is when the thing on top gets bigger. That's how you know you're close, and you'll see it. Keep going straight. Um, once we get to it, we'll quick save again. So this way, if something happens, we can just pop up right there instead of starting all the way back at your last quick save. Uh, quick save will be your best friend in this game. Typically, when you enter a uh, cave or something like that, it auto quick saves. It'll tell you up top. You'll see it uh, quick save or saving. Um, but a lot of the times it doesn't. So you got to be very mindful about it. Um, and if, so if you look, that is Morthal over there. Um, if we go to our map real quick, you'll see uh, we... Or sorry, that's not Morthal. That is Solitude. So that is Solitude, and that is Morthal. Uh, Solitude is the, sh is the heart, uh, shipping area uh, that we go to later on. So we're here. So we're going to go ahead and quick save. And there she is. She's finally with us. looks like all of these so if you saw that he just died because that one uh, this uh, necromancer um, basically brought them all back to life so that's what that was they were all brought to life by the necromancer um, so we have basically killed the bandits and then brought them all to life okay, we're gonna warm up a little bit here while we're here, we're going to quickly warm up so we get all our health back. I 
Let's eat while we're here. Okay. Now, here's where we're gonna go in. So let's just search all these bandits. Okay, so this is where we're going. We're going into this place here. So, we're just gonna quickly... We're gonna jump down. You've got a bandit. There is usually a chest right off the bat. Just get you a little bit stocked up. You've got these bags, sacks, things like that. Um, typically, it is other things. Um, but yeah, so you have like, they're usually food is what's in it. Um, so here we go. Okay, guys, we're going into a single. Now, if you look up at the top left, usually that's where your oh. quick save is. So you see how it says auto saving. So we're auto save, which is at the start of when you get in to it is usually when it auto saves. Okay. Um, when you go farther in, you're going to want to auto save more or save more. Okay. So there's a fight going on down here already. Typically, you're going to want to come around the side, uh, kind of hide hide in here. Um, we got them. Always check your surroundings. Make sure there's nothing else. Nice frostbite. That's a good one to have. Go to books. Okay. And we're gonna come over here. We got chest. Grab as much of the loot as possible. These minor healings, things like that, because you will need them. Okay. Um, if because if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you will die. Okay. So here we go. So you're gonna go left. And then we're going to find more dead bodies down this way. But this is the way we're going. So there's a guy up there. Um, yep. So they're getting into a fight. Oh, yeah. So so there's a lot of there's struggers. A lot of people are down here trying to find this thing. So there it is. Some restless druggers, which are basically necromancers. Dead necromancers. Okay. So they're gonna have all this uh um they're gonna have extra things, things like that. You're gonna find a lot of potions around here, just floating around, just sitting around. Um, there are. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna go right to this, which is basically um, we want to take one of these. So you can can't take them, but there's like there's ruined books. Don't they're not gonna do anything. Always come into these small like side hallways. Because there's going to be things in these urns. Uh, you're going to get gold, other things. Typically, it's a lot of gold in the urns. Uh, you get some some jewels, things like that. Um, and then around the backside, you've got potions, other things. Um, typically, uh, you'll find some... Some other cool, some other things like okay, so we got some potion of the night, mystery of the tower, 
which basically gives you the restoration increases. We're getting close to leveling up again, um, so we will probably level up um, down here. But yeah, see the barrel stones. It's a lot of gold. You're gonna get a lot of gold in these side rooms. Always, always, uh, if you're not gonna speed run, check everything, okay? Always, always check everything. Okay. Check everything. I mean, you got coin purses. Okay. So, this is one way to go. And this is how you go. This is a little side room down here. Um, so, this kind of doubles back and has a just a bunch of gold laying on the table okay um, then you've got this chain here which opens up this door which will lead you into a tunnel for some more stuff okay so it's a little burial tunnel, which gives you a chest. That's pretty much just a little, like I said, it's a little side room. Um, always explore the side rooms in this game in these places because there is stuff hiding. Um, there are, sometimes you'll find like some of the like high-end weapons, rare items, things like that in these side rooms. Okay, so now, here is the main area. Now, so we just walked out, and we basically, there's druggers that'll pop out. There's one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get his shoulder. Okay. Okay. Um, there's another drugger. This one's a restless one, which is going to have ice. Ah! See what I mean? No! Anytime you do a shout, people will find you right away. You'll get, you'll basically be seen. So only use a shout if you absolutely have to. Okay. What are you all on about? I've got your back. Wait, not you. I want this, okay? F now, okay, so filled with a petty soul, which is perfect, okay? So we're gonna go to items, and we're gonna go up here to weapons, and we're gonna go to our honey mode shells. We're almost out, okay? Now you get the little RB charge down there, and we have one soul we can put in, so that actually charges our weapon up some more, so we don't lose uh, charge. But yeah, the petty soul, the the filled souls are actually your best option. Um, you can buy them. They're hard to find out there uh, when you want to buy them. Um, you have to really search for some people. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're probably one of the hardest. The soul gems are the hardest things to find out there. Um, but yeah, we're almost. So we're going to go this way, which is going to take us left. So it's a big around we're going up to another level okay so now we're going to go upstairs and cross over there's stuff everywhere in the in this uh spot okay and there's another one so we've gotten two now the game will learn if you need things it will it will start to show them available for you uh, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, you'll start to get those um, soul gems will start to pop up if you are in need of one. Uh, things like that. Okay, so now we're going into this room. Uh, looks like there was a big coin purse. 26. Okay, so we're going to the, the depths of Ustengrav. Uh, okay. So, this spot here is a look over. You're going to see there's a lot. It's big. 
I mean, we're basically the underground of of Skyrim. Um, okay, there's a lot of things that go on in this game, a lot of weird things. So we're gonna kind of. So if you pop out here, if you've got a, a bow. Um, there is a dugger right off the bat. <laughs> Okay. Um, be very careful of the way you go in this game. Okay, so we're gonna get some. Some we're gonna go to for the Nordic arrows. Actually, about the same as the iron arrows, um, or the steel arrows. I mean, so we're gonna stick with the steel arrows. Now, if you look out here, you're gonna see. I've never seen anything quite like everybody that. available um, to kill. Okay. Uh, this is very, very open. There's a lot of passages you have to get to to get to this point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the outside passage. Basically, it's the same as that's the inside passage that we took, um, but we're going to come over this way. Okay, we're going to come this way. And as you can see, there's a lot of depth to this game, or this uh, area. So that's a skeleton. So now the skeleton's gonna try and make its way to us. But we're gonna go ahead and kill the skeleton before it does. There we go. Done. So. The sneak attacks are gonna be your favorite. Are gonna be your favorite thing. Ah! So. This right here. You is a quick uh, thing that's going to it's a booby trap so this is where you're going to use the whirlwind spirit okay <gasps> to get through so you don't die like she does okay that's down in the bottom so you've got a lot of things down here quick we're gonna go here put that back in play so now we gotta go down below the more the bigger it gets the more that you're going to be able to shove them out of the way. Um, you're going to be able to really get a lot of them out of the way down the road. Okay. So, like I said, explore the side rooms, um, chests, things like that. Scrolls are a big thing. The, they're one, one and dones. Uh, the scrolls are one and done. So they're not uh, like the spell books, the spell tombs, which basically give you that spell. Um, but yeah, so you get the scrolls, which are one and done. Explore every part of these rooms. You get some cheese, food, things like that. Um, a lot of food. It's really the only thing you'll get on that spot uh, since we did not go, since we went through the side, we got the side stuff. So now we're going to go this way, which is going to take us back upstairs and cross back over this way. Now, I'm going to go left. Okay. Remember in the other episode, this stuff here will catch fire. Okay. So here's where things are going to get a little cool. So we got these little activate handles, which open up that side. The other one is in another location. Um, someone is... There's going to be a dugger that's going to open up those duggers. You're going to come back, and then what you're going to do is shoot that down. Okay. 
Now, obviously it bounced. It didn't, there it goes. Now he's gonna run through it. Lydia, get out of there. So that Duggar's dead. Yeah. So the Duggar ran through it, killed himself. And then we got this Duggar over here who got shot by Lydia. Okay, now. There is one more pull switch, which is over here, which is gonna open up the other gate. And now we can go in here. There's gonna be a pedestal gem. Uh, we got some alterations. Uh, if we want to do, uh, if we wanna enchant stuff, we can. We've got a chest, which has got stuff in it. Um, I do pick up almost all of the potions. Uh, because I can sell them if I need to, okay? So you can sell the potions off, make some money if you need money. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and drop into quiet, my uh, sneak mode. Up here is some more, uh, we've got some, some more ruined books, which don't really do anything. Um, basically that's pretty much all that's gonna be up here. Um, and the cool thing is, if you want uh, to level up and you go through a uh, place, give it a couple of uh, game days and it'll restock. So all the places will restock and you can go right back to them and redo them again um, to get more things. Okay, so we got a... Okay, so this is where things are going to get a little hairy. I'll throw an arrow that way to kind of throw them off. Hit it from behind. Okay. We got that one over there. Coming up. Oh. Moved. They do that. Done. So there's an Antioch over here. Oh, that's the flames. That's the other spot. Like I said, we got to do a lot. We're going to have to quickly run through there's a body on it okay so okay now that is a skeleton you're gonna want to kill it um, a lot of these long shots, if you know what you're doing, if you've, uh, if you're gonna really do this, you're gonna have to really pay attention to what you're doing. Um, nope, we gotta eat. Shoot. There's a lot of, a lot of things, okay? Shoot a lot of things that are just sitting around. You don't know if they're gonna be, if they're gonna come after you like the Duggars. If I see a Duggar just hanging out on the floor, like I said in one of my early ones, you saw me kind of shoot the Duggars because I knew what I was, do I knew where I was going. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and jump down here, get out of this, search him. He's got that battle axe that's there. Now, we're going to be going this way, right? Yeah, so we're going down this way. Okay, that is, we're going to learn another word. Okay, you hear the noise already, we're going to come around the corner. Okay, come up to it, let it come to you. Okay, world of power, okay, fade from eternal. So now you're gonna go to your, you're gonna go to magic. We're gonna go to shouts, okay? This is become eternal, which basically means um, the thum reaches out to the void, changing your form to one that cannot be harmed that cannot harm or be harmed. So basically, we're gonna be invisible. We can't kill anything, we can't be killed, okay? 
you have a dragon soul you're gonna hit your x and you're gonna unlock it you're gonna spend the soul to use it now okay so we're gonna go back up We have to go over there, okay? That's our next direction. Okay, because we came down here, now we're gonna cross this way. Down. Okay, another puzzle, okay? The answer to this puzzle is not there. Now search his urns. Okay. Now. I'm gonna pop down here. The answer to the puzzle. Okay. So you've got So this So basically what we're gonna do is it's here here, here, and then you have to run through, okay? This is where... One, two, three, and then you're gonna run through before it dies, okay? So, we're gonna go get the Whirlwind Spirit, okay? One, give me a second, one, two, Three, Woo! and Woo! go. And then she just gonna come through automatically. Okay, it's weird. She just comes through. Okay. Now let's go to our magic. We're gonna go to shouts. We're gonna go ahead and add that I've into our thing. Here. We're gonna go back to force. You always have a bad feeling. Okay. Now. Do not step on those, okay? Okay, be very careful. This is where it gets cr tricky. You can shoot and see what it does. You want to follow a path, okay? So we're going to go straight. Nope. Go right up onto the side. Typically what I'll do is I'll stay on the side and not actually walk in the middle. Okay. Now we're going to level up. I told you we're going to level up in this game. Or this spot. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do some potions. She doesn't get she'll she will die eventually. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to flames. Okay, here we go. We're getting close, guys. This is the final area. So we're gonna open up a chain. Okay. Now, I typically will stay here. So here's what's happening. Now, those will always come up. They're just part of the room. They don't do anything, just so you know. It's just basically someone's entered the room um, the next thing that's going to happen, this is the boss, okay? So let's go potion up. This is the boss. The boss is going to come out of that area down there, okay? The boss will come out of there. But we have to actually... 
come forward. Okay. So, someone has taken the horn. Okay. So now we're going to go back to Riverwood. Which is not good. So, so typically, you would have a boss here, but someone's already taken care of. Someone's already been down here because those things are dead. Okay. Now we're going to go into the final room, which is basically the boss room, which is where the boss stores all of their treasures that you basically get to plunder out. And I mean a ton of stuff in these boss rooms. Orcish bow. Nice. Okay. Then we're going to go up here, which will take us back out to... Skyrim. All right, back into instant grab. And it's going to be a side room um, that you didn't know was there. It's how it typically does. So it's going to be that, that first side room that we explored. Yep. Like I said, so it's the first. So... Remember how we came around the corner and then there was that little spot. We've already searched this room. Um, more things get put back in to a lot of these side rooms. Um, we actually, no, we didn't search this room. This is a new room, okay? But it is, we would have searched it, okay? We kind of, yeah, so it's this room. We didn't come down this walkway, which we should have, okay? Um, but yeah. So now, we're going to go back out the way we came. Which is this way. And then uh, we will end the episode. Hey, we're back in Skyrim. Uh, huh? We're going to go up top, find a pl uh, take a nap, level up. And then we will call it for the day, guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and sleep for a quick hour to allow us to upgrade. We're going to go ahead and do health. I tend to do health a lot off the bat um, because it'll allow me to... Uh, we're going to go to lock picking. Okay. Make, lob make novice locks easier. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so that is it for today's episode, guys. Uh, remember to always save. Uh, we're actually going to do a real save here. But, yeah, we will see everybody on the next one here on RWG. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day.